Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I was born the son of a poor asteroid polisher. Uh, I'm supposed to be making this speech. I think I know my life better than you do. But enough about me. Thank you. Well, I don't think I've got too much to complain about, that's for sure. I have my health. I have a wonderful wife. I have two great kids. And then an alien. Okay, great speech. Let's open the presents. Okay, be right back. Come on, Brian. I hope you got me jewelry. Alf, it's Willie's birthday. He's the one who gets the presents. <laughs> the guy who has the birthday also gets the presents? Talk about your wacky planet. Okay, Dad, close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Open. <laughs> Happy birthday, darling. Oh, Kate, it's the Cambridge Atlas of Astronomy. Yeah. Thank you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Let me see. You're welcome. Gee, I've been eyeing that book in the bookstore for weeks. You know, I was going to wait until it came out in paperback, but what are you doing? I'm correcting the more glaring errors. Look at this. They left out the tenth planet. Dave. <laughs> you know, I think you make things up. You told me there was a race of cucumber people on Mars. Not a race. A family. A small family. They're mean. Here. Happy birthday. Well, thanks. What is it? I don't know. Something I found in the basement behind the chemical toilet. Oh, that's not cool. Well, I can't exactly go out and shop. Oh, no, no. I mean, it is charming. It's one's very thoughtful. Oh, thank you. Well, look at these. These are pictures. These are our high school or college pictures. Oh, my gosh. I don't believe it. It's old letters in there. Oh, uh, Mom, who is this gorgeous guy with his arm around you? Uh, that's Nolan Westwood. <laughs> Who's this guy in the stupid-looking clothes? That's a football uniform, Alf. I know this guy. He's an old-timer. What's his name? Joe... Namath. <laughs> you get Joe Namath? The pantyhose guy? Wow! <laughs> Mom, you really went out with some hunks. But I married the best hunk of them all. Oh, my gosh! Here's a menu. Oh, look, it's an old menu from that little restaurant that uh, Kate and I discovered. Let's order. The restaurant's been closed for 20 years. Then why are we ordering? We're not ordering. Oh, honey, look what we wrote on the back. It's our list. What list? Uh -huh. Well, your father and I each made a list of things that we wanted to accomplish in our lives. You know, uh, goals, dreams. Can I see it? Look what Mom wrote to ski the eagle's nest at Squaw Valley, to have a poem published in a major literary magazine, to run with the bulls at Pamplona. She did all that, too. Whoa, Kate, you little overachiever, you. Yeah, way to go, Mom. Oh, well, you know how I am with lists. I love crossing things off. Where's your list, Dad? Oh, it's in there. I, I think I wrote it under the catch of the day. Let me see that. I may want sea bass. We're not ordering. All right, all right. Let me read this. Wait a minute. Willie Tanner, goals and ambitions. Number one, to build a better mousetrap. Well, that must have been a piece of cake. Not exactly. Uh, I'm still working on that one. <laughs> Number two, complete that skydive. Complete that skydive? How do you skydive just a little bit? Do you jump halfway? <laughs> No, you, you get ready to jump, you have second thoughts, you go back to your seat to sit down. Oh, you chicken out. N you decide not to jump. You come to your senses. You have second thoughts. You decide not to be stupid. All right, all right. You, you chicken, chicken out. out. <laughs> now, how about some of that wet cake? Yeah. 